the second line of Dominic Cahoon, Dylan Strome, and Alex Dabrinkit, produced three goals in the Chicago Blackhawks' 5-2 win over the Detroit Red Wings Sunday afternoon. Patrick Kane and Jonathan Taves each had a goal and an assist to extend their point streaks to 14 and 7 games respectively. Cam Ward played a major role in the Hawks' seventh straight win with 43 saves on 45 shots. The Hawks now sit four points out of the final wildcard spot in the Western Conference. How it happened almost immediately after puck drop at the United Center, Taves and Kane found themselves on a two-on-one. The two stars were not able to capitalize but it foreshadowed a first period that had numerous sideman rushes for the Hawks. The Red Wings have a couple promising young players, like Dylan Larkin, Dennis Palowski, and speed demon Andreas Athanasiu. A few minutes into the first period, Athanasiu got a chance to show off his speed. Eric Gustafsson, who continues to develop his defensive skill set, was able to gap up properly and limit Athanasiu's options coming into the zone. After a handful of glorious opportunities by Taves, Kane, the Brinkett, and a few odd man rushes, Strom picked up a puck from his skates and drew two Red Wings defenders towards him at the opponent's blue line. Strom slid a soft pass to the Brinkett speeding up the neutral zone and Dominic Cahoon was able to bury the puck upstairs on Red Wings goalie, Jonathan Bernier. It was Cahoon's 10th goal of the season, and Brinkett extended his point streak to eight games. Following the goal, the Hawks came on strong with some impressive hustle by the Saad Kruger and Perlini line and Drake Gajula, who was finishing checks and causing mayhem. Momentum continued to build for the Hawks and they were rewarded with another two-on-one opportunity when the Brinkett sprung Cahoon in the neutral zone. Cahoon corralled the puck and sped around Nicholas Cronwall at the blue line. Throne went back door and was able to legally deflect Cahoon's pass with his skate to give the Hawks a 2-0 lead. It was Strom's 11th goal with the Blackhawks and he now has 13 points in his last seven games. Early on in the second period, the Hawks had numerous chances to give themselves a three-goal lead, but couldn't capitalize. The Red Wings were able to grab some momentum after a penalty kill that limited the Hawks to only a few shots from the perimeter and it gave them a short-handed breakaway. Detroit was clearly prepared to take on the dangerous Hawks power play. When you let a team stick around, especially in the NHL, they will inevitably put one on the board. Kane grabbed a puck in the neutral zone and tried to regroup at the Hawks' blue line, but Danny DeKaiser read the play and caused a turnover that bounced right to Christopher N. And was forced wide by Slater Kokik, but was able to rifle a shot top shelf far side on Cam Ward. The Hawks were scrambling the rest of the period and Ward was able to get the Hawks to the dressing room still up 2-1. Ward saved 31 of 32 shots through two periods. Almost immediately in the third period, Ward came up big again with multiple stops to keep the Hawks' lead intact. Duncan Keith got a chance to step up on a loose puck near the Hawks' blue line, and gave a quick pass to Debrinkit. Debrinkit then gave it to Strom who dished it to Cahoon as he was splitting between two Red Wing defenders. Cahoon was able to put a backhand 5 hole for his second goal and third point of the game. It was Cahoon's 11th goal of the season. Each member of the second line had three points in the victory. With five minutes left in the third period, Nick Jensen found some room in the high slot when Cahoon and Strom collided with each other just off the wall. Jensen passed it over to a wide-open Gustav Nyquist, who patiently waited for Connor Murphy to sprawl out on the ice hoping for a blocked shot and snapped the puck low glove side on Ward. Shortly after the goal to pull the wings within one, Anthony Mantha almost tied it up from a dangerous spot in the slot. He just missed the net. Taves then took the puck and was able to flip it out to center ice to Kane who snuck into the neutral zone during the chaos in the Hawks zone. Kane had room to move in on Bernie and went short side for his 33rd of the season to put the Hawks up 4-2. With the goal, Kane extended his point streak to 14 games, and Taves was able to extend his streak to 7 games with the assist. 
the Wings pulled their goalie and Kane unselfishly sent a cross-ice saucer to Taves who wrested the shot into the empty net twice the game for the Hawks. It was Taves' 25th goal of the season. It was the Hawks' 7th straight win and improved to the 6th of October 12 on home ice. Three stars won. Cam Ward 43 saves on 45 shots for his 0.955 save percentage, 2. Dominic Cahoon 2 goals, 1 assist, plus 2, 4 shots, 14.36 toy, 3. Dylan Strom 1 goal, 2 assists, plus 2, 4 takeaways, 15.37 toy, 